Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mr. Cygnus, back a little sooner than usual, but that's alright. That's some good stuff. Um, go ahead and pause the replay at the 30 second mark. I'll tell you what, let me tell you a little story. I'm gonna tell you a story about my neighbor's dog. My neighbor's dog is the most fearsome dog in the whole entire world, and I'll tell you why. Not because it bites people, but because it is the horniest dog in the freaking world. The other day I was outside and the dog was humping a freaking brick. Yesterday I was outside and the dog was humping a freaking tree stump. So I'll tell you what, if you go out there and fl uh, flame those shower casters, I'm going to take you, tie you down to that tree, tree stump, and I'm going to grease up your backside, and let that dog have at you, man, so don't be flaming up those shower casters. I might even get out my video camera and tape record the whole thing, and then send it into, like, America's Funniest Home Videos or something like that, titled, Noob Gets Owned by Dog, so let's not be flaming the shower casters. Alright, with all that said and done... Um, okay, let's get off into the game here. As you can see, I'm playing 4K Fury. This was a game for Shoutcast last Saturday night, so let's unpause this in 3, 2, 1. Unpause, if you want to live. Okay, so, um, as you can see, I'm Night Elf, as usual. Top left-hand corner. 4K Fury's at the bottom left-hand corner. I put the vision on either myself or myself because if you put on one of the observers you're just gonna get a bunch of spam from all the observers um, Grubby was bitching about um, laggers as, as we were inside the game because there's this one lagger and he was one stupid ass man this one guy wouldn't freaking leave dude he was lagging like every you know five minutes he'd lag and then stop and then start lagging again and like especially when you're in the middle of creeping or or battles, or trying to chase down your opponent, or something like that. This stupid ass to start lagging. So, I'm telling you, it's all bad. You know, that's kind of you know ungrateful too. When you're an observer in one of these uh, games, man, that's like getting a backstage pass at like one of these, uh, um, you know, like a concert or something like that. You know, you should be like, whoa, I really appreciate it. And if you're screwing it up for other people, well, well, get the fuck out of there. You know, like if you puke on yourself, don't go backstage, man. Jesus Christ. You know, like we're up inside this game, and there's like a, a shoutcaster. Then you've got the host. Then you've got four players. And you got a few ladies, and there's some musical and something like this going. You know, you look over, Mr. Cygnus is grinding on like two ladies, you know, and they're using him like a stripper pole. This is WCReplace.com, baby. You know how we do it. Anyways, um, yeah, that's how our games go. So, you know, if you're lagging and there's some people trying to play, especially if it's a big game like this, well, get the fuck out of the game, goddammit. That's really annoying. So, anyways, um, alright, so my Demon Hunter finally pops out. Just doing a little Wisp Scout here. Gonna put it on the tree. He's gonna put the ghoul over there to chop on the on the wisp. So I'm gonna just have to run that out the way. Show up with the demon hunter. Let's take a few slices at the ghoul. I'm trying to see what he has here. He has a death knight and a bunch of ghouls about ready to surround me, so I need to get the hell out of there. Um basically the worst thing you can do is run in there and get surrounded, of course. You don't want to ever use your TP, let alone lose your, lose your hero early game. It does set you back a little bit. Um if you lose the TP, it sets you back quite a lot because you might even need that sucker late game. So 350 gold is um, a lot of gold. So he puts up the new Rubian Tower, I can see that. He's not going to go out of, out of his base while I'm standing there. So I'm going to try and fool him to make him think that I've left. So I'm going to run out of the way far, but then I kind of run back into the vision. But that's okay. You'll not notice I'm putting up a fast expansion right here. Right here. I've done a uh, modification to my anti-on-dead strategy uh, lately. Um, before I used to go archers right into hippogriff riders, then to uh, chimeras. Uh, the problem with that really is, um, you know, that leaves you with just your hero to harass with, and then you end up with a bunch of archers sitting in your base, and it's kind of hard to micro them to creep by themselves. You don't want them to die while you're harassing and trying not to get surrounded. Um, so basically, I like to use hunts now, like a one AOW hunt build. It's extremely effective. I mean, you can harass a lot better with Huntress. Um, plus, it's also better for defending your base and your expansion. So, as you can see, um, he's doing... You know, the smart thing is to come in there and try and uh, cause some havoc here. Um, I got one hunt. Um, not really going to do much against, against a bunch of ghouls. So, I just have to run that out of the way. Don't let it get surrounded. 
Um, I'm going to put some wisp on that moon well to try and repair it. Um, Demon Hunter gets back. This is the point, point in the game where I think that stupid observer starts lagging again. And oh, look at that. Demon Hunter gets surrounded. I don't want to make too many excuses there, but that's what happened. So anyways, I'm um, doing the best I can here. I'm forced to use my TP, which is not too good. Um, then again, I'm just doing a little damage to his ghouls. Yeah, see, as you can see right here, we had to pause or something like that. One of the observers that was lagging left, which is cool. It's a good thing for you to do. Anyways, um, here I am, couple uh, Huntress, Demon Hunter. Um, when you're going up against Death Knight and some ghouls, and you have a, only a single AOW, the wor uh, thing you don't want to do is get any of your Huntress surrounded or let alone your hero. So what you got to do is got to play it kind of smart. you got to run in and run out and pick your uh, slices uh with your head, you know, being smart about it. Anyways, I had a Huntress queued to my hero, and he gets, uh, and the, the damn Huntress gets surrounded, so I lose the Huntress, which is not too good. Um, I could have used that Huntress, but anyways, I'll just have to make the best out of my hero and my two hunts. So, Mana Burn goes off. Um, we want to take all the mana away from the Death Knight. No coil, no healing. So now he's stuck with just, uh, whatever he has here. So if something dies, it dies. So that's the way, uh, to harass, uh, Undead. You have to have uh, some pretty fairly decent micro to pull this one off. Um, if not extremely good micro when it comes down to extremely good players. So I'm just doing the best I can here. I know he's going to creep right there, but you know I want to get a few more hunts before I start going in and giving him more shit. So I'm walking my tree over to my expansion and um, putting on my tech right now. That attack slowed down my tech, so it was a very um, successful harassment on his part. Lost a few wisps. Uh, here, here he comes again. Um, I have uh, five units now, so that's good enough to successfully start messing with his ghouls. But he starts bringing up more ghouls, and now he has um, a skeleton warrior. So you don't want to screw around and try and risk an attack again. So what I'm just going to do is run around him real quick, throw a mana burn off in that death knight, turn around, attack, and run out of the way real quick. So it's basically just some micro wars going on right here. Um, He's playing it smart. He's got the unholy aura. You don't want to mess around too much. He's going to come in there and attack my moon well once again. But now I have uh, five Huntress, and that's always an effective little army here, so that's good enough to start attacking. So he knows this. He's going to run out of the way. His ghouls are getting pretty weak. So five hunts and the demon hunter. He has a level advantage. That's all right. I have the expansion walking over there. Um, tech is halfway done. Um, I'm going to queue up some more Huntress. I'm actually going to build some Archers in this also. Because my, because I can see he's going Death Knight and Harass, uh, I'm pretty sure he's going Gargoyles, because that's that would be a smart thing to do on this map. Ghoul Garg is the best way to go on a map like this. You can do all kinds of creeping strategies that are really effective, especially this island creeping. So, um, I'm pretty sure he's going Garg. So if I get a few Archers out, that would be to my benefit. Usually I don't have to do that in my build, but because he harassed so well, I mean, I wasn't able to get my tech going fast enough, so I couldn't get enough uh, Hippogriff Riders out in time. So anyways, I'm going to clear out this expansion, get that expo walked over there, get that bad boy up. Um, let's see what my opponent's doing. Okay, he does have Gargs, he has three of those, and he has, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, ghouls for creeping, a couple skeletons, the standard usual stuff. Expansion is up. I'm just going to continue creeping. Um, I'm almost uh, halfway level 2. I do pick up the useless Talisman of Evasion, which is going to do me no freaking good on my Demon Hunter. So that sucks. Um, as for uh, Fury, right now he picks up uh, Rope of the Magi. I guess that's alright for a Death Knight. Otherwise, I'm going to continue creeping here. Um, the most effective creeping strategy you can do with Night Elf is to creep as much as possible without having to run to your base and use moon wells. I mean, that's a big waste of time, and it gives you big downtime. So if you can micro effect effectively while you're creeping, you can uh, balance the damage out between your whole army so you don't have to go back and heal and um, waste a bunch of time. Believe me, every second counts just, just about in big games. So if you play it smart, um, you can get a lot more done. So anyways, I pick up... Um, Lionhorn of Stormwind. Very good item. Very good item. Extra armor is extra good goodness. So, um, 
especially when you're going for air to air battles when it goes to air to air battles ghouls versus uh hippogriff rider i mean uh <laughs> gargs versus uh versus hippogriff riders um every upgrade matters a lot so if you have an even army um the higher upgraded units are obviously going to win um but then again if he has more gargs than you do then you have hippogriff riders you're going to lose still so you need to kind of Weigh it out a little bit, but upgrades are very important. So, anyways, if we were both three-three upgraded, and I had the Lion Horn of Stormwind, that's uh, more to my favor there. Look at that, ten health demon hunter running out of the way. That's pretty go So, anyways, um, I pick up another Lion Horn of Stormwind. Yet, uh, yet again, another worthless freaking drop, and I lose a hunt. Anyways, um, I put up the Ancient Protector inside my expansion. I like to do that now sometimes because it makes it a little harder for them to run in with ghouls and shit and take it down. So anyways, start, I'm starting to attack the Tier 3. Um, got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 archers. Um, now I'm starting to get my Hippogriff. Um, the one thing that's nice about Hippogriff, Archer, um, Huntress combo, or even Huntress and just Hippogriff is that uh, gargoyles get kind of confused. Um, sometimes they're going to start attacking ground units instead of anti-air units. So, micro is really important on the part of an undead player. So if you can confuse their units by getting some ground units mixed in with your uh, your air units, well, that's just really good because then you're going to have your hippogriff riders pounding the crap out of... I mean, hippogriff pounding the crap out of the gargs, and they're not even going to be uh, attacking those units. They're going to be busy attacking hunts and archers. So anyways, um, I still like, I still like just to limit it to my hero and the, um, and the hippogriff and chimeras late game because um, then they're going to start attacking your hero, so they need to micro it out. Undead does actually require a lot of micro. A lot of people don't understand that, but Undead is a very micro-intensive um, race, especially when you're going ghouls and, and gargs, because uh, pulling off her surrounds can be kind of difficult if you're playing against someone who, who is pretty damn smart. So, uh, like myself. So anyways, um, he, I TP'd in there. One thing uh, most undead, like just about all undead players don't expect, which we talked about at the end of this game, Fury and I, is Demon Hunter, Mass Hippogriff Riders. What the fuck? Uh? So I TP'd in, he really didn't expect that. He's got like 0-0 zero, zero upgraded uh, Gargs, and I have 1-1 one, one upgraded Hippogriff Riders. I'm Hippogriff, and I have just as many Hippogriff as he has Gargs. So anyways, that just takes away from that gold mine harass, because that gold mine wisp harass is a real bitch, and that's, that's how undead players win this matchup. What they do is they go ghoul garg, and what they do is they get their hero and a bunch of ghouls, and they creep all over the freaking map, and they take their gargs, and they just stay there and harass your gold mine, your wisp, and you're forced to stand there, and while you're standing there, he gets the map um, advantage, he gets map control. So then his heroes get really high level, and your heroes also lose the level advantage. So basically by making hippogriff and hunt, I take away his advantage. So no, he no longer has map control because I can just use my hippogriff and tell them to chase around the gargs, and I can go creep with uh, my demon hunter and uh, huntress, or go harass at that. And as far as I know, huntress and your hero are better creeping tools than mass gargs. I mean, mass uh, ghouls. God damn, man, I can't talk for shit today. Well, anyways, you guys get the idea. So, anyways, right now he notices uh, my hippogriff are out upgraded. So, and I have as many as he does gargs. So, he's trying to run like mad with that unholy aura to get the hell out of here. So, I'm just going to tell my hippogriff to go back there and chase him down while I do some creeping. Exactly what I was talking about. So, now he's busy trying to run around. Actually, he's doing the smart thing. He's gonna try and scout a little bit with his death knight and run his uh, gargs out of the way. I was trying to cut his gargs off, but he kind of pulled the, the fast one on me when I lost sight of his uh, gargs. Anyways, both of our heroes are level five at this point. Um, got my hippogriff chilling in the corner. Um, I don't know why. 
But I flew my hippogriff over to the corner, and I didn't see his guard through there, and I forgot I was already level 5, so I decided to creep this spot out anyways. Uh, so I did. So, I, I mean, if anything, I got some extra gold. Didn't lose any units, as far as I know. Yeah, I got 165 gold. Jesus Christ, 165 gold for killing that dragon? That's insane. The units kind of sucked. I was going to buy, like, a, uh... Uh, that ship and drop myself over there and pick that item up, but you know that's not really going to do that much for me. He's just an air attacking unit; it's going to get eaten up by gargs. But 165 gold for killing that that um, red dragon—that's crazy, dude! I didn't know that until right now. Shit, I'm going to do that more often. 165 gold. Can you imagine if you flew over and just killed the red dragon like every time? You can pick up those items, get mad experience, and make hella money. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, right now I'm level 5, so I'm selling off some useless items. I sold that mana stealing orb or whatever. It's not like I'm going to really need it. Right now I have about 15k gold, so I'm going to put that into some upgrades. Start pumping out some chimeras and try and pick up a second hero, I think. I was going to pick up the Panda Brewmaster. Because when it comes to air versus air combat, or a same unit type for same unit type combat, Panda Brewmaster is like the best um, hero for that. Um, Pit Lord's also pretty cool, but the problem with the Pit Lord is he dies kind of easy, and you have to get him relatively close to um, the whole army, and sometimes you can get focused down on. But the Panda Brewmaster, if you can use the Drunken Haze and the, um, the Fire, whatever, Fire Breath, I mean, that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, that works really a lot to your favor. It can really sway the um, the battle to your favor. So, as you might see later, um, as for my opponent, he also picks up a pan of Brewmaster, but the thing is, is his is level 2 already, and one's about to die, actually. Oh, no, he healed it. Well, anyways, he's creeping out the same spot I'm creeping out, basically, but I threw up an extra expansion. Um... I find that whenever you can expand and you have the resources to expand, do it. Because it might save your ass later. Because who knows, what happens if he runs in and for some reason takes out my expansion over there, but happens to not notice my expansion in the corner? Well, that means I'm not um, hurt in the resources area, so that's good stuff. <coughs> um, Alright, right now it's looking towards almost the end of the game. Um... Level 3 Panda Brewmaster, level 5 Death Knight, uh, Gargs are upgraded to 2 1, my Hippogriff are upgraded to 3 2, so I do have the advantage there, but the problem is, is, um, I have too many hunts late game. I should be killing off my own Huntress and possibly even killing my own Archers so I can get more Hippogriff Riders, uh, Hippogriff out, because all he's making is Gargs, and I know that. And just those units are going to be taking up all the, um, the food. I mean, um, Huntress are going to do me no damn good at this point in the game because Chimeras and Hippogriff Rider own everything. So, um, basically, well, actually, I th actually, I think I do do that. I think I get rid of a couple Huntress. I let one die here and I kill off the other one. But I think it's a little too late by the point he attacks me because now he has a Lich. So he's going try hero and right now, um, I have... Research. Just oh, I have three three upgraded um, hippogriff and chimeras right now, but I only have one chimera. It's good to at least have three because you need to do some decent damage to heroes and um, get the siege upgrade and take out. Well, here's my problem here. This is the mistake I made. I noticed he he had a, a higher level panda brewmaster, so we both cast uh, scroll protection, scroll of healing, um, drunken haze, uh, fire. I'm focusing down on the wrong unit here. I should be focusing down the air, but I'm focusing down on the fiend. Um, just about all my hippogriff are getting eaten up, and my chimera is focusing down on the weak hero, which is, which is a good idea. Um, so basically what wins the game for Fury in this situation is a higher level Panda Brewmaster um, and a few more units. I had the upgrade advantage, but the problem is... Uh, Drunken Haze level 2 is far greater than Drunken Haze level 1, let alone he had the fire, so that just took that out also. Breath of Fire took out a lot of my air units, because, um, because yeah, that's the way it is. Uh, that's bad news. 
Um, also, Chimera are light armored, so that's all bad right there. So, anyways, um, end of the game right here. <coughs> Basically, um, I got owned. Um, it was a good game. I learned a lot actually from this game. I know you guys have been seeing a lot of games from me um, lately in which I've been losing. That's alright. I mean, I lost a 4K Grubby and I lost a 4K Fury. I mean, no shame in that. Jeez, these guys are professional gamers. So I don't really feel too bad. Matter of fact, I actually feel too good. I haven't really felt this good almost beating a player ever. I mean, <clears throat> when I almost beat Fury, I was like, wow, you know, I almost beat Fury. That was pretty cool. So, um, since then, um, I've yet to beat him. <laughs> we played a few games and... Yeah, you know, tell you the truth, I probably wouldn't tell you guys if I beat Fury anyways, I'd be wrong, but I haven't, so nothing to worry about there. Um, it's all in good fun. Could get some good practice. The guy's freaking amazing with, with his undead. Um, the micro is crazy. His fiend micro is just really good. I played against his fiends and I, I did pretty well, but um, actually I did pretty damn good. Um, but his fiend micro is really good. Whenever I play uh, undead players on East and they go fiends, I can almost basically bank on the fact they have no freaking micro. I mean, fiend, when it comes to fiends, it's not really a highly micro intensive uh, thing. You know, basically, here's the strategy most fiend users use they get their death knight and they run in, they do that stupid wannabe death knight harass, and uh, basically, they see my demon hunter and they crap their pants and they run out like bitches. And then they try and do some massive creeping by getting a bunch of fiends and statues. And they're like, creep, 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 creep. But basically I deny that because I get Huntress and my Demon Hunter and I follow them around like a like a true play I would. And I deny their massive creeping. And then they try and add statues to make it even more retarded. But I deny that also. And then um, sometimes I try and fast expand, but being I'm harassing them so hard that I already get my own fast expansion up because fiends aren't very good at stopping fast expansions. I mean, whenever you see fiends, you can just go for expand, just start building a tree right there on the spot, because there's not going to be much they can do about it. So, um, but when it comes to 4K Fury, I mean, uh, it's quite different. I mean, his fiend micro, he is like the fiend master in my book, and in many other people's book also, um, players' books or whatever, how you want to say it. He's been using fiends since Ran of Chaos versus uh, just about everybody, so that's his strategy. It's unique. I respect that. I respect um, people who do unique things. So I don't really respect people who do the standard crap. But on the other hand, if someone does something unique like ghouls and I mean uh, standard like ghouls and gargs, yet shows some really impressive micro and some strategy like adding a, adding a panda brewmaster instead of a lich and a crypt lord, which I see a lot of people doing also. I mean, what the hell is a, a Lich and a Crypt Lord going to do against anti-air? So your best uh, best idea is to get Panda Brewmaster and uh, a Crypt Lord. I mean a, um, yeah, Crypt Lord, Jesus. Or get a um, freaking Pit Lord. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of. Yeah, so get a Pit Lord. That's a good way to go. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to the audio. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to play 4K Grubby, and 4K Fury 2v2, drop me the PM, I'll help set it up, get it ready for Friday, Saturday Night Gaming on WCReplays.com. Also, don't be flaming the shoutcasters for not letting you game, because I'll tie you up in my neighbor's backyard, like I said before. And I will tape record that shit, and I will laugh and snicker at you. Anyways, um, with all that said and done, thanks for uh, checking out the audio, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, uh, I can get another one up for you guys. Um, Hopefully soon. Just got to check out with the admins and see what's up. All right, guys. Stay cool. Late.